Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today we shall continue our topic of delighting in God through meditation. Last time we had looked at three methods on how you can meditate on God's word. We looked at how you can picture the passage under study so that the scriptures come alive. We looked at how you can pronounce every single word slowly so that you can get greater insights. And finally we looked at how you can paraphrase the passage under study so that you can understand the passage in its context by writing it on your own words or by using a good English translation of the Bible. Now, these were three powerful methods where, that we looked last time and I pray that uh, it will be effective in your meditation. However, today we shall look at three more powerful methods and these are some of these are my personal favorites. So, let's look into each one of them. First, we can look at how we can personalize the passage under study. So that's point number one. You personalize the passage under study. Let me give you an example. How do you do this? Uh, if you heard the famous passage or the famous uh, verse of the Bible, which says uh, in John chapter 3, verse 16, which says, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son so that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That same verse you can apply to yourself. You can personalize that verse under study by saying, but God so loved Sherry or God so loved me that he gave his only son so that I or Sherry who believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I who believe in God, I have everlasting life. This is how you can personalize the passage under study. Now, one thing to note over here is that not everything in the Bible is written directly to you. It's written to a general audience at a particular time. However, there are passages that are specifically for believers. And so you must find out and you must search out the Bible for those passages and apply those verses. What is God saying to me as a believer in Christ? And so uh, when you do that, the scriptures become more relevant to you. So this is step number one. You, you can personalize the verse or the passage under study. Step number two, you can pray it back to God. You can pray the verse or the passage back to God. For example, you must have heard of Psalms 23 and you must have read it many times. Uh, it says like, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. He leads me in beside the still waters, right? You know the passage very well. Now, what you can do is you can personalize that Psalms, which is there in the Bible. There are more than 150 Psalms or other New Testament uh, passages or prayers where Paul is speaking or praying for the church. And you can pray those prayers back to God. You can pray to God something like this. Oh Lord, I thank you that you are my good shepherd and I shall not lack anything because I trust in you. You lead me into the path of righteousness for your own name's sake. You can take out verses from those passages and use it in your prayer. So this makes your prayer biblically grounded and also uh, it, it strengthens your faith. That's my personal experience that when I had done this, it has strengthened my faith. So again, you can personalize the passage of the verse in uh, to in your own words and you can personalize it and you can uh, strengthen your faith in that way or else you can pray the verses back to God and you can personalize in that way. Uh, the third important way in which you can meditate on scripture is you probe it. You probe it like by asking a set of questions. Now of course you can ask, you can have your own set of questions but I have specifically got nine set of questions which if you can memorize these you can use it at any time right and so it's it's very easy to memorize this you just have to remember the word space pets space pets it is a series of nine questions where uh, each of the word which is an acrostic right each of the word can be used to remember a certain question so i'll be just be reading the question right now for you uh, you can listen to those questions if you want you can pause the video and you can write down those questions and use it in your bible study right so let me read the questions over here number one uh, space pets, right? So S stands for, is there any sin to confess? Like, do I have to make any restitution? Uh, number two is the P, that is, is there any promise to claim? Uh, is, there, is it a universal promise? Have I met the conditions? Number three, is there an attitude to change, right? Am I willing to work on a negative attitude or build on a positive attitude? Number four, which is the C, you can command, is there any command to obey, right? Am I willing to do it no matter what? And number five, which is an example, E for an example to follow. Is there any good example, a positive example to copy or a negative example to avoid? Right, so that is space. And then pets, 
right? So P, is there any prayer to pray? Which is similar like the last uh, point that we looked into meditation, right? Is there any prayer in this passage that I can pray back to God? Number, number seven, is, you, is there any error to avoid? Is there any problem that I should be alert of or should I beware of, right? Uh, eighth one, which is, is there any truth to believe in the passage? What does this passage tell me about God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit or any other biblical doctrines? And finally, nine, is there something to praise for? That is the S. So space pets, right? And is there something to pray for? Praise and thank God for. So when you use these nine questions, you remember and memorize these nine questions, it can make your Bible study very effective. So once again, we looked at three uh, important points today. We looked at how you can personalize a verse or passage under study uh, so that the scripture becomes very relevant to you. You can pray those verses or passage back to God, uh, which makes your prayer more biblically grounded and strengthens your faith. And number three is where you can probe uh, the passage under study. Uh, it's, this can help you in your Bible study and it can help you in your personal meditation where you can ask a set of nine questions and get greater insights from the passage. So uh, these, three, uh, pa uh, these three steps of meditation along with the previous three can help you much powerfully in your walk with God. And I pray that God will bless you in this. So uh, may God bless you. May God keep you. Have a blessed week.